A growing number of Australians are being frustrated by delays to renew their passports. Citizens born overseas are now being required to wait months for a citizenship certificate so they can prove their identity. Melissa Agnew is set to travel to a conference in the United States, but her trip almost didn't happen when she hit a hurdle renewing her passport. All of a sudden my Australian identity was being debated. Dr Agnew was born in Papua New Guinea and has always travelled on an Australian passport, but earlier this year she was asked to prove her citizenship. I've worked in Australia for so many years. I've paid taxes. I've been educated. Nicole Dawson had to leave her son at home when she went to Paris last year. The eight-year-old isn't her biological child and that meant he became part of a growing number of people being asked to prove their citizenship to obtain a passport. I sort of gave up because it was just getting too difficult. Passport applications differ depending on whether you're born inside or outside of Australia. If you were born in Australia, you simply need a previous passport or your parents' birth certificate. But if you were born overseas, you need a citizenship certificate. The law hasn't changed since 1986. It just seems it wasn't stringently enforced. Migration law experts say heightened vigilance in approving passport applications seems to be part of a wider crackdown by the Department Department of Home Affairs. Chris Mayer's daughter was another asked to prove her citizenship despite holding numerous passports previously. Alice Mayer was born in India before becoming a citizen. She and her 90-year-old father had to cancel a trip to Europe next month when she hit delays having her passport renewed. There's no logic to it. DFAT says some passport applicants have always been required to provide new evidence of citizenship. Emma Younger, ABC News.